Welcome to the Hanna-Barbera Book Club hosted by DC Fans Channel. My name is Sammy from the YouTube channel Sammy Reads, and I'm here to talk to you about the highly anticipated issue number one of The Flintstones. I grew up watching the Flintstones cartoons and I loved them mostly because it had a lot of dinosaurs in it because I kind of love and I'm a little bit obsessed with everything dinosaur related. Blah! So getting ready to read this book, I was ready for some good old fashioned campy fun with the Stone Age era family. Now this comic is not just silly recreations of the classic animation, oh boy, I would definitely think twice before giving this to your neighborhood baby. Uh, let's talk about the story first. This first issue shows us what life is like for these characters and it might be a little more grim than you remember. Fred is struggling with some PTSD and has to attend a support group for people who've gone through the prehistoric wars, which I'm sure we will learn more about, super interesting, uh, while he also has to deal with his boss who is honestly kind of the worst. Meanwhile, the doting housewife, Wilma, is struggling to get her cave paintings noticed, and I would definitely call this a first world problem, but it's more like a pre-world problem. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I love the dynamic they've set up between Fred and Wilma because it's definitely more than just like the, the lovable oaf kind of guy that Fred is often portrayed as because he clearly loves uh, his wife, um, he sticks by his morals, mostly, and, uh, I mean, he's pretty much, like, the classic family man. Speaking of family, we have not been introduced yet to the kids, which I am just like, oh, I'm so excited for that. The art in this issue is so very special because it paints the characters in such a way that is very much true to their classic, uh, uh, outfits that they used to wear while also giving them a super realistic comic booky look which is just ridiculously cool. Hands down the best thing is the attention to detail this book gives when showing the different technology things they match it with a, you know era appropriate tools and technologies and the dinosaurs all the dinosaurs. Also make sure you pay attention to all of the names in the stores because they are some hilarious pun or planned word and it's just that's probably my favorite part. All in all I loved this issue for a lot of reasons and some that I did not expect. I hope you picked up this issue so we can discuss it more down in the comments. Make sure you check out the other amazing videos by the Hanna-Barbera book club because they are also just ace. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for issue number two. Bye!